Someone's talking a horn constantly. <coughs> Google's Uzi signals are something that he's um, hiding behind this brick wall for, so I don't know. It's the coolest thing seeing these fucking real life killers though, dude, up close. Like, I gotta have this camera system. This has to be mine. Now, that 86%, because they're all fucking driving, so like morons and collecting people like food. It's fucking weird, dude. The more I smoke, I don't feel like food to, at least. It's whatever you're killing me as, whether you're shaving me down or shaving my hair and. Or whatever the fuck. I don't remember what this bitch was doing when she was talking about Lizard to Charizard or whatever the fuck she was doing. This other one trying to call me a fucking horny toad. It's like, I don't know. My dick's not really hard or anything. <coughs> but I sure as hell love that hug that was from you. That was, it sure needed to be my mom though instead. And definitely not hitting her head against this thing. So she could never walk all the way up here to this location and come into this hostel, that would not be a very fucking good idea at all. It's still cheaper to figure they didn't kill all the cops in Iowa yet. If that's what it takes to get mom to drive all the way here, she's being um, a wimp. Because I've done it, got on the fucking Amtrak. It's a federal train that'll bring her here. Don't drink alcohol. Firing all the collectible shit that I wanted her to bring. It's like, I don't know why. I figure it's something to fucking look at and do, you know what I mean? What the fuck? A buildings guy. Have you ever used a shotgun? Have you ever used a gun? 
He's like building something right there with what he's trying to do. I mean, if they're trying to wrestle down guys, why? Why don't they just shoot them? I'm fucking serious. It's the only way to fucking accomplish the truth there. And the rest of them will start to run and fucking hide and not do the shit that they're doing. I'm, I literally don't understand anybody's belief in Jesus wanting to keep any of them alive at the state that they are in. And I'm, I'm not one of them that wants to go fucking first. I can guarantee it because of some stupidity or going to a fucking prison for my sister's dumb fucking. I don't know where her connection is. Anything, anything just to be mean to me, it, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Who are the people that drive up here after I fucking repeatedly told them you're retarded to go to another fucking place or do not drive in this town? And then all the other people that don't want him to drive, I don't know why they haven't gotten guns to start just fucking shooting people. And I'm gonna have to hide inside the building at that fucking point. And the girls that want to hide over there, go ahead. If that go those guys come back through that door and they let them through the door, that's their own fucking fault. I already know for a fact that they're no good. And there's only one more to get out. Oh, wait, two. That I know it for a fact right this moment. Then a big heavy chick and fucking other stuff, but. This, uh, Garrett fucking snow shovel is like built by a company that knows that shit's fucking deep here, dude. It's not snow, it's fucking shit. There's no way that there's even snow on the ground if we made the fucking sun come out like it can. Like, there's one cloud that's trying to whisper in or some kind of weird shit, too. They're over there smoking a joint, too, which fucking is weird stuff. I'm glad they're going that direction. The other direction towards the mountains... This is where I'm gonna go. They've gotta figure out a way to meet me and the other girls inside there have to figure out a way to tell me why they're torturing me to a point that's uh, acceptable to be inside here. Where the fuck are my mom and family members? The key to tender me. Get them the fuck in here or their mom's in here too because that's what they're fucking worried about just as much as I'm worried about my mom because of these people inside the cannabis fucking stores that I have to go and steal everything from. Dude just lost his fucking camera stick or phone off of his camera stick too. I mean, he obviously knows about the gun situation and needing one, and not just going into that store, but they're one that's definitely going to fucking talk some truth and that gun's going to go to their head for me because I know they know more than what they're fucking saying. And uh, those two girls are back there crying right along with me, so they're going to go to a special fucking place right now, and I don't know what the fuck that is, but... to God at 7, because I know that smoking the resin did stop me from crying, like, I repeatedly started to cry, if I keep thinking about the shit. An instruction bus from the ride. I hate, the, you know what I mean, they're supposed to be getting people on here and getting them out of here, not driving by and fucking sending some type of, oh, sick. They want you to cry constantly because some chick disappeared that they won't prove to be in the hostel or exists and I have to go in there and like take over the thing with no keys to do it yet. Dustin should drive the fuck over here and become part of the fucking hostel for the night. Pay for me to get the fucking room 203 again. Go into fucking whatever 204 or whatever room that is and fucking make them make the fucking noises and fucking cry and shit.
I don't want to mow them back in fucking place I'm in all fucking reality. I know one is a serious fucking killer, and he's going to have to go do it someplace else, whether these girls follow him to go do it or not. And the European was trained the same fucking way through whatever he heard through me, so that's why he got the fuck out of here with him. And there's also a fucking verb on Braun in here that's making these girls now go towards the same way these girls are going. Oh, no, oh, they're going back this way. This is scary shit. Warner Von Braun showed up when I left the um, escape room, but he didn't come into it. I think when he came in, I sat down and talked to him for a minute, but he didn't. He was walking by, smiling, laughing, and he knew that he was just showing up at that very moment. Two girls were walking, going back and forth, smoked a joint. I just don't have it, can't have it here. Obviously, when you work here, when you can think, you don't have children here. So, just being honestly factual with you. I mean, unless you've got a new new system I haven't seen. I've never seen any kids walk up in here yet, so. Every time I smoke it, it's an SUV or a dead bait pad. Or is that just for all the other people that are buying it? Watch the control, gentlemen. Because all I know is that they're trying to sense it as an SUV and shit. Compared to the real life fucking situation of what's going on here. And I have no idea about my sister's drama in fucking Kentucky or some guy that lives here that says he's from Kentucky. They should have never left Kentucky, and I don't fucking understand it at all. <coughs> I honestly don't. Smoking cigarettes ain't fucking helping anything either. Like reading them tell me that chartreuse, there is some chartreuse stuff. 
Dude, that guy at that one at the desk right now, he's been the most cool and calm and a fucking... He knows he's terrorizing me being here, but he's, he's doing it in the most um, gentle way that a man has ever has been able to do it here. So, I mean, I've, I've talked to actual murderers. There was a murderer that walked back in there. He had a plan to use um, the, the drug and then have me hide it and tell you, tell him, tell you it's a Budweiser um, instead of uh, whatever he's buying. So why? And these girls, that's another thing. When I'm not talking out loud and just using it in my mind, I think there might be an absence connection there. Like me not speaking it. And me speaking it, I don't know what the fuck that does for them. But hopefully they quit using the fucking absence and they start to use the actual fucking speech from me. And just, it, I hope that Dustin understands I heard his lisp. And I fucking ain't gonna terrorize him or fucking violence to him. Nor do I want to bring back guys here. But I sure would like to see Dustin sit at that end over there and watch those two guys walk up and fucking blow their fucking brains out right away. And any other guy that I'm making walk that fucking direction. And there's only been two of them for fucking hundred percent factual, like they're definitely getting shot to death. And I'm sorry for fucking for one of them actually, so he might get off. Cause I don't really, I don't, I don't know what to say about him yet. I don't know what is that. Alaska, to you, would you ever abuse someone because they're black? Never, never, ever, for God's sake. I would never abuse that guy. In reality, I know that I've seen him cry and I should have never said what I did. But he sat down almost like he was wanting a little bit of abuse from me or something. And he had to have been because he would have beat the fuck out of me, killed me. Whatever it is, right when I walked into that hostile fucking room. I know that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a gun and I'm gonna end up shooting people that talk to me through other people. Because you're hurting your family. You're upsetting your family. It, it's it's hurting your family. Let's be honest. It's hurting your family, dude. That's why you have to walk away and talk somewhere else. Get away from this town. Breaking down towns, the T-Owns, you get ghost towns, I'm sure, quick. It's a town that you, I'm telling you to get out of this. Please, don't be where I can hear you talking right now at all. I hear, I hear you were trying to get into some fucking Hollywood script and it's not good for you. Nor walking towards that door. Believe me, there's got to be uh, two girls that are at least in heaven with with another one right now. I don't know what else to fucking say. They know I really didn't want them want to go into the hostel yet without a, a real plan. Just like that one guy said, we need a plan to kill this other one. It's like, not really, dude. If I'm going to do it, you're going to hand me the gun and I'm going to start shooting. And there's not going to be a plan. When I get the gun, that's just how it is. All these other people that will have guns to watch and shit. I don't, I don't hope, hope that they ever have to pull a trigger once I start pulling triggers. You know what I mean? I don't have a gun, so there's no way I can shoot you, but the Chinese balloons are getting shot, and people looking for them are crazy. Is that BAM? Uh, 
Oh, those girls want to fucking save their moms, dude. You're a fucking moron. I don't want to get into a, an actual a hostile situation. I'll call up the sons of silence. I'm gonna need that gun for real, dude. Come on. It's R18. This I could have I could have probably filmed this guy like shoot him, and I think that's what it's gonna come down to, guys. And he's ready. It'll be like a star, like uh, that girl last night probably was getting TikTok fucking raped, fucking by some douchebag that's really not got that bad of lips, I guess. I just I can't. That one guy that asked me what mine were knew mine were purple already, but that was after I'd already um, looked and fucking scrubbed mine and realized. My ass might be better than my fucking mouth when it comes to it. I don't really fucking know. I don't care. <coughs> when you start listening to what they have to throw up, it really doesn't matter what you're going to listen to anyway. And I don't want to show you dead uh, homeless people as my first kill. I don't even have a gun, dude. I can't be. I'm not. I'm in a hostel. Did you know that? They don't call the cops either that I've noticed. But they do hear the sirens. We've got what do you got much up anticipation for this train trip. And what a pretty clear day. It's been cloudy all week. Now we made it to DFW, but we did not make it home. Alrighty, y'all. It is the day that we're headed to Colorado. We're both very excited. Mm -hmm. We got hand warmers. They're calling you. Cannot go wrong with that. Out. It's gonna be Colorado. We got our carry-ons. My mom took our check bag. They... Which one? <coughs> oh, that guy? All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, dude, I'm in a hospital. Any guy that walks in here, unless I push him down the stairs, is gonna, this is what's happening. If I do it, they're gonna probably try and push me down at next. As soon as they hand me a gun, I'm gonna start popping them when they come in, and it'll be a lot easier. He had a he had a camera on his stick. He's fucking he's he's filming something about this store. He's coming in as a good guy. So you want the two girls to go get hit by Dustin instead. You don't want no girls even coming up in this hospital trying to make it with me and my... You think those girls are going to fuck me over and you're going to sit there and fuck me over too like a nigger. I don't understand why you got to be like that because you can't come up here or don't want to come up here. That big ass nigga up in me, he's a fucking cool dude. Gotta get your ghost by a car. <coughs> that noise just covering him up because I can't hardly handle hearing it anymore and it's making me cough 
funky funky. I understand that there's there's a reason why people don't want to come up in here as guys. Because and be prepared with the gun. You're not getting searched on the way in. Go down to that pool hall. You're getting searched. Big ass white woman is gonna be down there and she is gonna fucking guard that door for now. I need something to drink. That's weird shit. It's nice meeting you, man. That was fucking paid terrorism. Just like Jesus. Had to be. There's a guy out there that wants to meet you, smoking a joint. He's paid by the uh, cannabis dispensary with free pot to sit there and be a harasser. So if you want to meet him, he's out there on the thing. He probably won't be there very long, but I'm sure I'll take off where you get out there. I don't have a gun. And he said he wanted me to shoot him on camera. Like, literally. He was, he's ready for that for some some reason. He also wanted me to shoot you instead. <coughs> I told him I didn't I didn't see a good reason yet. There were some other guys that did walk in that I found out a reason to. Those two girls I wanted to come in know about that reason. So if you stop them from coming in, that's an issue. And there's a guy named Dustin that will come take care of you, whether I work at the Argo anymore or not. I don't, I don't understand anything except for get out of here to you, and that would be a good thing, like quick, or and go talk to your friend next door that wants to talk to you. What did you say? Get off the drugs? Is that what you said with that marijuana hat on?
There's a dude next door that wants you to be at the door at the front as a security guard. If you can do it. It's up to you. You can talk it over. Yeah. I think I already explained it in a way fucking cooler way. If I ever have to actually use violence on Dustin, it's because he didn't use his wealth to do exactly what the fuck I'm saying. And if he doesn't want to be a killer himself, he doesn't have to be. This, if Tommy could see this, this is one of the best uh, 53 knots that he could ever get to see and experience, like, me going through, like, if he's really feeling, you're killing me here, dude, just watching this shit because it's so terrifying. It's like, I don't, did never make it. Someone else created all this fucking craziness instead of just leaving and 
they're trying to talk about drug, get off the drugs like Jared I'm gonna fucking I don't know how he got drug in there by somebody else by them or if they got drug in there by them whatever the fuck it is I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna it's gonna be dealt with like I heard but this dude said that chick wants to go down there and be that that bodyguard that would be a good thing but I think that her main purpose is to never go back up those fucking stairs and be tortured again up there. We could go to the um, other star- stairs that are fucking a way for me to push them down to and all get caught behind one and kind of fucking domino effect. Just joking. There is something I would need up with that guy right at that spot though where it's his leather jacket. I should be fucking pushing him down the fucking stairs. There's no way, reason that I can't be the only guy left in this hostel. You know what I mean? Off the grid has to do with this chick that's fucking dosing up the, the other ones. And then I heard other ones saying that they're doing it too and I haven't figured out who they are yet. And giving it away for free, even. Yeah, the grocery shopping shit. These guys walking down the street, stealing my spots, filling their fucking bags of groceries, saying, it's not even really groceries, dude. It's the what you just fucking told us. It's definitely fucking real. Mike can show up with the hammer. <coughs> these, are, these, these guys, though, they're ballsy uh, to think that I need them. And I don't know what to do with them in all reality. Like shit breaks, it breaks at this point. It's not going to get fixed. We're going to move on to another building and shit like that. And I don't even understand how you know what I mean girls hurting each other so that doesn't make sense how you doing But I don't want to use it like well, right I, got, I got got on, I got a hundred and sixty five dollar room the first night, so it was too much for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fifty five, but yeah, you know, you get six room, six roommates or whatever, something like that. Yeah, but it was super quiet Friday night, so like that shit. I thought it was gonna be On a Sunday that's probably why last night. Was there girls in there? I oh, I just wondered. I have never tried it out. Like, what the fuck all this shit's all about, dude? All I know is I, I got a room. That might be a snitch. That might be a snitch if I did in the room. Especially doing there making a lot of noise. Oh, I see. Like <laughs> I, I get you. Like no, I get you. I, I mean, I, I thought that there were co ed rooms in there somewhere or something like that. I've been a male, a male only, maybe, I don't know, I didn't, yes. I've never even stayed in the whole, stayed in the actual um, room, I stay outside of the room. Oh, that's you just here. I got room F, or I mean bed F, oh. and 303. Room oh, 303? Bunk mates? Bunk mates? Yeah, I can't sleep around those people. I know that's because we can't sleep around with people like white people, so that's why we had it that way, luckily. I'm sure if it would have got super busy, they would have been like, hey, dude, you gotta go, because they would have left their friends sleep in there. Yeah. <coughs> oh, 
yeah, well, there was uh, something that happened at 1 o'clock in the morning that I was fucking fucked up. That's all I know, and I don't know how to uh, deal with it without a gun. I mean, Would it? what happened is two guys showed up. Nothing like these two. These guys are workers right here that weren't here at 2 o'clock in the morning. Instead, they, they're doing stupid work. But anyways, you've got two guys. One of them is walking across the street over there, and, and he's a black guy. And he's hasn't drank water for um, probably three months, maybe longer, it looked like. Dude, his lips were chapped to fucking a splitting a piece and falling apart. Then here's the only, only reason I snapped on him. He walked, he walked across the street to do what I hoped he would do. There was a guy with a blue fucking, I mean a big, huge thing with like a blue tarp over it. And I didn't know what it was. It was kind of shady, and I'm thinking, sitting, maybe I should go fucking do something. What am I going to do without a gun? So anyway, I watch him walk the fuck over here, and I forgot that. And I didn't even forget that there was a girl sitting out front in a pink fucking coat. Hot as hell. She's a, a Mexican girl. And um, Jesus was in the room that we were in. I don't know if you know who Jesus is. Um, but I never, was, I never went back to the room at all. He's, uh, um, he only was here one night. He said he would take it off the next morning, so hopefully he, he got out of here and he's cool. And... <coughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. Well, like, he was lying to me, so, um, yeah, I mean, he wasn't lying to me in a way. Like, he was, he was lying to me. He told me he was getting paid to terrorize me. Which was interesting as fuck, you know what I mean? Like, literally getting paid. He said, the more, the more that he actually terrorized me. And then he didn't actually say it that way to me, but he let me know. As that. Yeah. Whatever they say, everything is fucked, bro. Because I don't like people approaching me, asking me, seeing me trying to fuck. I don't fucking do that shit. I understand. So I keep up. Fuck, I'm not fucking fucking shit. I'm like, 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 I'm but this dude's got, he's pretty big, and he's got a, a big white chick that comes into a room with me that's a, uh, an escape room. So I've never um, not made it out of the room, but I don't think it's a real one. I think it's like some type of uh, um, mind trick that they've gotten themselves into that it's still fun to know that we're all like able to just terrorize each other with the goofiest fucking shit, like playing the song Hook, and they both come in and all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Have you ever heard that song by the Blues Travelers? <coughs> it doesn't matter what I say to you. Something like that. I don't know how it actually goes. The song is said with reflection. <coughs> as long as you can I was trying to leave like Lady had three nights price on it. <laughs> and I had been texting her and shit for fucking three days. Okay. And I'm here. It went from six hundred to twenty five hundred. Like, I wanted to see this chick that was out front. I could see a fucking room, bro. Fucking weird. Living quarters. Yeah, yeah, like a fucking rental. So I was trying to rent this spot, bro, and she raised it. Like six hundred. I'm on my way down here, bro, thinking I got a home for six hundred. You feel me? And I wake up in the morning. You feel me? So now I'm like, oh, damn. I got cut. And I got to find a new spot. That's what I had planned. You know what I mean? There's two other hostels. I saw them. It's just if I went to Jeep or Google. Where are they, where are they at? Because I'm even getting up, getting high and mad about it. Because I got to be up out of here by 1 o'clock or 5 o'clock. But I like this one. It's pretty cool. 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 It's the only one that's in the park. You know what I mean? Like, they put a lot of effort into it. The red, yeah, Casio on in. This is like, this. It ain't what I thought a hospital would be. It's not a hospital. If I 
If I ever had to go back to a Jessa like the last one, I want just like a new shot before I go back there because they, they're no good. Like that guy right there is no good and he's getting going for something that would get him shot and, and by anyone that's wanting to shoot someone I I don't have them to do it and I don't know what happened. <laughs> Because I'm playing. I'm <laughs> I can't take you anywhere. I don't know. I, no, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't actually need anywhere. For a week, there would be 137. For a week, there? Get up. This part. It was like here. You Have you ever got on a um, bus and went out to like Idaho Springs? Well, I got here last night. You just got here from Idaho Springs? No, you oh. saw me last night. Oh, I see you're from out of town. Yeah, there's a, I live out in Idaho Springs, that's where I'm headed, but I'm actually waiting it out here a few more days to see all the chicks that can come by and see the fuck we really up here. I don't know about that one that disappeared last night, like literally if that chick was still around and I could find out, I was leaving for about half a year. <laughs> huh? She got into that tent, dude, that's the fucked up thing, I didn't even finish telling you the whole you know? She got into a tent right outside the fucking door, and there was one dude that slipped, slipped well chaps, and there's another dude. That was actually not that, not that bad, but he was like kissing me through the tent, and he was dressed up as one of the 21 um, pilots, uh, snow, snowsuit guy. I don't know what, what the fuck that is, but the chick just got into it, you can tell, and I'm hoping to God that she like got into it, fucking just fucked my mind over it in a way that literally leaves me crying thinking she died, just like Jesus that left and fucking, bro, my God. <laughs> Smoking weed, did you want to smoke some? Weed, what else? We got more than weed, bro. I drank a cup of the coffee this morning. Were you drinking it too? Fuck, I shouldn't have done that, probably. You have a very vivid imagination. Have you ever talked about writing? Or do you write? I'm trying to let my hands uh, dry out. Right, I'm never heard something in the scenario. I wouldn't think about those things. Black coat, blue coat, older coat. Dude, I told them all not to be around here. These ones in the cars have people threatening every one of their lives. If there's an actual movie going on, I don't know who they are. But, uh, <coughs> Tupac Q4 is a big fucking connection and the big whatever it is, small, that is a question that I have about when I was a child. And who it was that came in on me and pissed in my mouth as a um, child, as a, like a seven year old or something like that. You know what I mean? And the government, I've requested the information from, recorded, fucking. So the government's my enemy. You know what I mean? I'm going after the government. My mom works for the government, but I haven't, like, shot them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Myself. Huh? No. I don't even know what Neo is. My friend. Oh, Neo from the Matrix. I don't even know, like, not. Asians or are, um. Asians. <laughs> oh, Asians. <laughs> They're doing the Asians now. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. The Asians, though. That's It's like a fucking infestation of fleas. I bet you a million dollars if you was to get it. But, uh, you know what I mean? If you had Chinese come on to it like that, it was horrible. Huh? I know it. And there's a girl I met over in England. I, she had a hatred towards him, and I could never get it. Cause I never wanted to have hatred towards any certain country. But she did. <laughs> and now I'm starting to get towards the shit. Like, you know what it gets down to? Like, the population of every fucking thing on the planet, and you let people go to a fucking epic Here, some guys can. Population? Huh? I believe uh, we need to. Uh, I don't want it, dude, but we're doing it. Better, Doing it with like another person, like 
That's the problem. We got plenty of space on this earth. We got plenty of resources. There's no way that men can keep walking down the streets if they look like that guy in that shirt or whatever and this. And, yeah, and not. We see what you were just talking about? Yeah, and. You was was it? Yeah, and you was. Um, there, I saw was that shit. there was two of them that I'm telling you about last night at 2 o'clock in the morning that are more important to me and that girl, about that girl. For, even for you, like, if any of these other girls in there cared about her, if they got love. Right now, he's turning. He has the right to turn and the right to walk. Is that guy in the blue? You're right, bro. All, all blocked out. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that guy. He was talking about the, 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 the traffic walk, right? The crosswalk. Oh, the crosswalk. Yeah, yeah. You know, tell you to go. Uh huh. You know they can. And they turn. come and they come. I don't hit me anyway. I if you're not it's watching it, I can't see it from here, dude. Because okay. I just in the twice just now. Because my look at my line of vision. They've got it blocked out right here. And I literally, sometimes you wonder if builds aren't built that way. Because like, if you sit down, you might you might be a little taller. But what I'm saying is, uh, I can't see that direction. And literally watching them stop and fucking get on some um, stupid kick and killing each other don't make sense to me a whole lot. I could film it. I think some of them, like this guy right here, I swear he was saying creepy shit. I'm not going to really shoot him. Like. <laughs> I want to get him up here and smoke a joint with him and actually, you know what I mean, have a real man's club and fucking do some shit that's fun. For real, yeah. Took Con Postal to the fucking uh, clinic. Why do black holes twinkle? <laughs> Don't even know what Neo is or Nazi is. You won't ever be a Neo Nazi. You won't ever be a fucking Nazi because you're trying to get me to not see it or ask me if I won't see it because it would be a devastation to everybody that does this. Staying, staying alive, staying alive. Mm, 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 staying alive. <laughs> Looks like a freed hostile employee chick. She's headed towards the other ones. She's like, I'm gonna go find those guys at that hospital. It's only hundred and thirty seven dollars. This one's charging for the real deal because I'm sick as fuck and they all know it. I'm in deep shit. They they wanted to fucking try and fuck me over with the fucking feds, post office, US, whatever it is. Good, she's not gonna go that way. She might turn and go the other way, but I hope not. Or turn around and come back like the other one and fucking become a new uh I don't know if they're some type of a clinic patient or what. Oh, here we go. This is a new uh, disturbance. That's for fucking real, dude. Same shit as last night, but a different kind of situation. Not really. I mean, what you could put in there, that's fucking fucked up. So now I need the gun so people can at least sit here and say, you're right, please let's end this fucking retardedness. Wait till you get really close to him and shit, dude. So if there's nothing in it, it probably ain't as bad as if there is, and that's the really fucking 
weird shit to it, dude. You missed one last night. I didn't have my phone. There's some other guys that aren't playing around too. They were talking about talking to the Mexican restaurant. Cause they the food shit. Want some weird shit to have Mexican food around here and be fucking shit. Feeding them on purpose. Who knows what meat they've been buying. I gotta check my bank and go get something to drink and eat. And if she's down there, I don't know if she'll let me out. I'm gonna tell her she has to strip search or do a very good search on people because she can get a lot of stuff up in here inside her. Not as big other ones coming right to the door already. And Ophelia's downstairs is some sick fucking shit that people have done something wrong in and I know they have. <laughs> 